Hi everyone, and today we are going to try to make a new grammar for a programming language which will understand number inputs. So first of all, you will need to go to the link down in the description and we are getting started. So the first thing to do is to initialize our parser. We are going to use mu library uh, and we are going to require it. It will allow us to build a preset of preset of um, tokens. It's a tokenizer and let's create a lexer for it. Mu has a function called compile and it accepts an object of regular expressions or string which allows us to create the uh, tokens by themselves let's create a token for a number a number can be anything from zero to nine and it needs to be at least one symbol out of those so we are about to test everything out just we need to initialize our lexer and because we call the lexer, the our lexer with a variable name lexer, we are going to write this simple line which tells the program that we needs to take the variable called lexer. So let's initialize our process and it will accept a number. We didn't yet create the number property over here, but we are going to do that right now. So we number can be a percent sign number, which tells it that, which tells the nearly that it needs to take the number property out of the lexer object. So let's try it out. We write the one, it returns an array with an array and it contains an object which has a value of one. Good, so everything works. We can try out to add some more input in there and as you can see, everything still works. Okay, it says that we are causing an infinite loop. That's because we are returning number several times. So what we can do is we can create a callback func function which is called uh, post process in nearly and we will tell the pr program that it needs to take the first element it always returns an array so we are going to take the first element of the array and we are going to take the value out of it as you can see it's a uh, it has a property value and here you go we are getting an array with a single value that we inserted in there how can we turn it into a number so this is our text and if you add a plus sign in front of it we turn it into a number how to escape this array the process also returns an array which we are getting right over here so in order to escape it we can take an argument d which is the array and we will return the first value out of it here you go we got our number nearly also has a shorthand for this and its function is called id so right now we are fully able to write any input except from um except from letters and other special symbols and it takes number as in as a well uh, input and it gives the same number as an output we can try out something interesting like any number that you return it will divide it 
by 1000. As you can see, still works. Everything works well. So if we enter 1000, it will return us value 1. So that was all for the first lesson. And we are going to continue in the next one. See you then.